boys cry? Can a boy express his sadness through tears? Let's find out. Rahul was excited. He was attending a writing workshop in school today. I am so excited to learn how to write a story. This is going to be so much fun. The workshop started with the teacher narrating a funny story. Everyone laughed and enjoyed the story. The teacher then gave them writing and thinking exercises. Rahul did all of them with utmost concentration. Let me tell you another story about the time I spent with my mother and the relationship I shared with her when she was very sick. Rahul listened intently. It reminded him of something. He felt an uneasy feeling in his stomach as if a big ball had just dropped inside. Remember, a story can be about anything. Not every story needs to be funny. Now it's your turn. Write a few lines from your lives. A story that has stayed in your heart. It can be funny, sad, scary or thrilling. It really can be anything. Rahul started thinking. Which incident should he write about? He could remember only one incident, the one that often made him feel regretful and sad. He felt like crying. But I am at school. I shouldn't cry here. If I cried in school, everybody would make fun of me. He struggled to think of something else to write about. Finally, he decided to write the story, hoping that his teacher wouldn't ask him to read it aloud. Everyone began sharing their stories. Some were funny, some were silly. Rahul, why don't you read your story? Rahul was numb and nervous. He wanted to disappear from the class, but the teacher asked him again. I, I have written about my best friend, Mo Mohit, Rahul said bravely. Mohit was very sick. He was terminally ill. We were all very upset, but I promised to visit him every day and keep him as cheerful as I could. Every evening after school, I would go to Mohit's house and tell him everything about school and we would read together. Mohit would be waiting for me and he loved it when I went to see him. His mother would make a special snack for me. But one evening, I came late from school. I was getting ready to visit Mohit. My father said, Beta, it's too late now. Go tomorrow. I insisted, but he was firm. I didn't go that evening. Rahul's voice was now much softer. The next day, as I was getting ready for school, I got a message. My friend had moved on to another world. I was filled with regret for not having visited Mohit the previous evening. As Rahul read the last line, he couldn't hold back his tears. He broke down and burst into loud sobs. There was an uncomfortable silence in the room. Rahul was very embarrassed and wanted to get out of the classroom. He was perplexed. His tears normally came out only when he was alone. Why had they decided to make a public appearance? Rahul's teacher went towards him with a bottle of water. 
but he tried to look away the entire class started whispering among themselves it's okay for you to cry mohit was your best friend these words came as a surprise to rahul no one had ever told him that he was okay for him a boy to cry slowly his classmate who was sitting next to him offered rahul a tissue one by one all his classmates came and simply stood next to him it felt like they understood his teacher sat next to him and held his hand till he felt better a few months passed by some of rahul's friends went along with him to mohit's house and spent time with his mother and on this when mohit's mother and rahul were unable to hold back their tears rahul was finally okay with it it was okay for boys to cry